What's shaking guys? Magic Activator here back again for episode number 19 of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, we managed to complete our third island trial, which was uh, hosted by Lana, the water type specialist, uh, in which we had to battle a giant school of wishy-washy that she had trained up, and it was honestly incredibly epic so if you missed that definitely definitely go check it out probably one of my favorite parts of the game so far even though we're still super early into this uh but uh we did complete that island trial and get the water mz which is uh, really exciting and we also managed to catch uh, our own wishy-washy and uh, i decided even though we already have a water type on the team with um our starter soleil I wanted to go ahead and add Wishiwashi to the team because honestly, Wishiwashi is probably my favorite, my personal favorite, um, seventh generation Pokemon uh, so far. And so I wanted to go ahead and add that to the team, even though it is repeated typing. So we're gonna rock out with that. Uh, I did go ahead and level it up a couple of levels uh, off screen just to kind of catch it up a, a little bit closer to the rest of the team. And so we're gonna rock out with it. But today we're heading to Route 6 and towards our next trial, which will be really, really exciting. So uh, be sure to hit that like button down below for us. Give it your magic touch if you are excited for today's episode and you are enjoying this series so far. So let's go ahead and start heading back to um, uh, Route 6, which I believe is down this way. Also, I don't think I ever talked to you. One of the trial guys that's here to uh, help out young trial goers on their island challenge, and my particular duty is to test just how strong trial go goers have become. Let's see if you can beat all the trainers on Route 5. Have I not beat all the trainers on Route 5? Are there some more trainers that I missed? I'm not sure. Maybe there's some trainers in areas that we can't get to. But anyway, we'll go ahead and head back towards the ranch. And I believe now that we have the Waterium Z, we should be able to actually get past the Pseudo Wodo. I don't know if I need to go ahead and put the Waterium Z on someone. But, um, I guess I'll go ahead and throw it on squad and see. I don't know if it has to be attached or if you just need the, uh, the crystal. But either way, I don't mind putting it on squad because it doesn't have the greatest move set right now. Woo! So this pseudo has got scared off, I guess. Strange trees did not attack you but went running off toward the Battle Royale Dome. Ooh, the Battle Royal Dome. Haha, <laughs> the Sudowoodo were off like a flash once they were reminded of that Z power. Thanks, now everyone can use the road again. Here's a little something to, in return for you. So we got the Mystic Water. Okay, now, now we're kind of talking. I wonder if maybe the Sudowoodos ran off to the Battle Royale Dome to try to get stronger. You know about the Battle Do Royale Dome, right? That's the place where you enter Battle Royales. Okay. Well, let's go ahead, now that I have this Mystic Water, I think I'm going to go ahead and pop, pop that Mystic Water onto, uh, let's give it to Soleil, she is holding the amulet, or he is holding the amulet, amulet coin right now, so uh, we'll go ahead and swap that out, I think that's a good idea, and... Let me check. I don't think I've picked up any water type TMs yet. Um, Thief, Acrobatics, Hidden Power, and Charge Beam. I think that's all we have so far. So, no new water type um, moves or anything like that which we could use. So, now we are on Route 6. And it looks like we're already seeing trainers that we're going to have to battle. So, we're going to go ahead and scoop up this Super Potion. And challenge this youngster here. When you speak of the young of the youngster Anthony, I'm the only one in the Alola region. That's probably true. I doubt there's another youngster Anthony in the Alola region. It's so funny because now we're seeing like all of these names. Like they've started recycling names uh, in the series, which I don't I don't know. There's like certain trainer names that I remember for for certain reasons. And you have a Magby, which is actually quite good for us and you know what let's go ahead and use our z power like right out the gate just because z aqua ring wait we have two different options we can use 
So Z Aqua Ring, the user envelops itself in a veil made of water. It regains some HP each turn. Um, Z Power Effect, it raises your defense. Hmm. And then, of course, you got Hydro Vortex, which is the standard water type Z move. So let's go ahead and try it. We. Yo, squad bobbing and weaving past the fire spin. Look at this. Look at this. All right, wishy-washy. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yo. Yo. It literally... <laughs> that is absolutely insane. I love that Z-move. I love that Z-move. That is really, really cool. And you have a young goose. All right, so we're gonna keep battling. I'm gonna see what I can do to this young goose. And I believe, I went ahead and leveled squad up to level 19. I think it's at level 20 that you get to start. Cause it, I know that that's what leveled the the school form wishy-washy that we had to fight in the island trial. Uh, we, I, I believe it was level 20 and so I assume that level 20 is when you're able to start using the school form of wishy-washy because it's not actually an evolution it's just like a form change like it's part of its ability so I don't know I don't know you beat me the only one like me in Alola so you're great so you are the only one like you true words have never been spoken although there's a lot of kids that look like you a lot of youngsters that look like oh snap I'm a breeder. I raise and breed Pokemon. That is the job description. That is definitely the job description. So we got Breeder William. Breeder William. What you got for me? You got Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo. That's a friend ball that he's using, by the way. I don't know why I said Quick Ball, because I know Quick Ball is the blue and the yellow one. I was thinking, for some reason in my head, I was saying, I was saying, uh, Quick Ball, which is was added in fourth gen, I think. I think I think Quick Ball was fourth gen. It might have been third gen. I remember it from fourth gen. Jeez, why you got to do so much to me though? All right, we got Hydro Vortex you, because I don't think another Brine's gonna take you out. Plus, this Z move is absolutely insane. Look at it. I'm I'm so excited right now. Wishy-washy is so cool. I think wishy-washy is super cool. Like, wishy-washy will probably be on the first team, like, competitive team that I build. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be real. It's really, really cool. I, I like it a lot. And it levels up! Oh, shoot. I actually need to, um... I actually forgot. I need to turn on the experience here. I actually turned it off while I was, um leveling up wishy-washy so that I wouldn't level up all the rest of the team as well. So let me go ahead and turn that back on. So that we are, you know, kind of making some, making some progress. And is there an item over here? Is there an item over here? And we're running into lily pups. These lily pups, oh my goodness. There's lily pups everywhere around here, honestly. Squad schooling. Yo! Alright, watch this. Watch this. We're about to blow you away. I'm gonna hit you with faint attack, though, because I'm not gonna lie. I'm running low on Brine, and that's my only stab move right now. <laughs> like, that wasn't even stab. That wasn't even stab. Like, compared to the amount of damage that that was doing before, that's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Also, I think I looked at its, um, nature and everything, and it's actually a pretty decent nature. It has a special attack boosting nature and then a defense lowering nature, I think? So, oh, we're back in Panola Town. Oh, it's like a hidden area, and we got the TM for Sleep Talk, so... Don't miss out on that. Do not miss out on that whatsoever. I should still look. I should still look and see. Because I feel like... First of all... Let's see. I'm going to pop a potion on you. Really quickly. And then... I was going to see what... 
maybe what moves Wishiwashi might be able to learn. I can learn Hidden Power. I don't know what Hidden Power type it is, though. Or it can learn Sleep Talk, which isn't going to do as much good unless we teach it Rest, which I don't want to do. Whoa, hello. You there, trainer! Can you come to my aid? Who is this? Over here! Oh, this is a, a little girl. Yo, yo, yo! Don't go turning your backside on us! And you! You that numb skull trainer from Melee Melee, yo! These scoundrels are Pokemon! Oh. What, what voice do I give her? I like, I, I my girl voices are so generic. <laughs> These scoundrels are Pokemon thieves, and you're on familiar terms with them? I don't know who they are. Yo, for real? I am Hopper. Hapu. Life in the big city sure is something else. Pokemon thieves roam about brazenly. Hmm. I leave that one to you. We're not thieves, yo. It's a legitimate business. We got straight messed up in Melee Melee. Got exiled to Akala. But we ain't going out like that. So these Team Skull Deeds, they just keep popping up everywhere. We don't really know what they're about. Like, why are they here? Why are they causing trouble? I don't understand what's going on. But... A job is a job. We got a body. This dude. He's got drowsy. Oh, and we have faint attack. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. I like how this girl looks like she's probably younger than Lana. And I gave her a deeper voice than Lana. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. I'm gonna hit you with that faint attack. Oh, look at Wishy Washy. It's such a boss, yo. Just murdered that drowsy. It's unfair. It's unfair. So hold up, did... With all these losses, we're gonna anger our bosses. Oh great, there goes the bars again. These tears taste like salt, yo. It's all your fault, yo. Floon. Mudsdale! Mudsdale, shall we stomp these scoundrels? It'll be a mess to clean up afterward, but I'm willing if you are. Whoa, time for us to make a breakout, yo. Gotta tell y'all peace out, yo. I'm not gonna keep telling you this, except when I keep telling you this, that one wasn't even good. You literally said the same thing. You better listen to what my homie says and drill it into your thick skull of, that's thick skull of yours, yo. Seriously, you better not forget, numb skull. I don't understand why sometimes they rhyme, sometimes they don't. He'll be fine getting home. Flynn. So Drifloon out. Glad to see that one will get home on her own. I've got to thank you for that. Give me your name, trainer. Magic, eh? That's a fine name. I like the way you handle yourself in battle. Mudsdale and I are always wandering all about Alola to try and achieve our goals, so perhaps we'll meet again someday. I'm indebted to you for your aid, after all. Is she going to be a trial captain? I got a feeling she's going to be a trial captain. Oh, uh, yes. You might want to try your hand at the Battle Royale, too, Magic. Mudsdale here thanks you. Thinks you'd be well suited to, to it, given how strong you are. So she's going to ride off on Mudsdale. I'm betting she's a the ground. So I had this epiphany. Zoinks, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I want to see that Battle Royale demo for myself. Yo, I want to check out the rest of Route 6, though. Oh, we can bust through that. Trainer tips traveling together makes your Pokemon grow friendlier towards you. Uh, some Pokemon even evolve when they grow friendly enough. Hmm. Hmm. I know my favorite Pokemon evolves when it gets friendly enough. Or my favorite... A Pokemon evolves into my favorite Pokemon whenever um, it's friendly enough. It also has to be the daytime. Which um, is going to be difficult in this game. Uh, unless I'm playing at night, because it's daytime at night in Moon version. So, we might be alright. 
Yo, this is working out great for, um, for wishy-washy here. All of these ground types and stuff. Like, it's crazy how powerful this thing gets. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Magic Carp in a way. It's a little bit better than Magic Carp, I guess, because, uh, wishy-washy isn't terrible on its own, but it's kind of like, it was really, really weak. Uh, until until we got it to level 20 and then once it got its schooling form now it's just like its body and stuff yo so let's see what we got over here I should probably be looking in the grass to see what kind of stuff we can find ooh or a choreo this one is psychic type I think but I'm not gonna lie I'm really not super like, I think Orochorio is really, really cool. Um, I think my favorite one's the ghost one, though. Um, but I do have to say that uh, it, they're pretty cool, but I, I don't think I'm going to be using one in this playthrough. Orochorio called for help. Oh, snap. Now there's two of them. I didn't sign up for this, yo. Let me hit you with that faint attack. Alright, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I gotta get rid of these things, dude. I gotta get rid of these things. So I think that this is kind of like the replacement for horde battles. Where they just like call in reinforcements and such. Which is kind of insane. Kind of wild, kind of wild. But hopefully, I'm gonna take you out right here. And I think before I battle these trainers over here, I need to, um, Scott, squad hits level 21. So Lager is level 24. Wants to learn Bubble Beam, okay. I will get rid of Water Gun for that. That's a nice little upgrade. I'll take that. Um, so I think I'm going to hop on Tauros. Because I saw some rocks that look like they could use a good smashing. We got a rare candy. And I kind of want to see what's, like, some more Pokemon that are over here. Lillipop. So we've seen Lillipop and Oracorio. I think that's about it. I think that is about it. Can I really not get away from a, Lil from a Lillipop? Like, really? Like, I get that it's faster than me, because I'm really, really slow, apparently, but... Because I, I actually looked up Wishy Washy's stats, and when it's in school form, it's actually, um... It's actually incredible, like, its base stats are crazy high in everything except for HP and speed. And in those two stats, it's kind of trash, but all the other stats are insanely good. Like, wildly good. So, like, I can't say this for sure, but I feel like it will be a pretty, um, like a pretty strong Pokemon to use. I feel like it'll be a pretty strong Pokemon to use. So, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm tired of running the Lillipups. I know there's something here besides Lillipups. I'm low-key kind of hoping that they, that, like, there's Eevees near here. I low-key kind of hope there's Eevees here. Oh, this is ridiculous. I don't like that you're that slow. Because, like, I don't want to be fight. I don't want, I'm not wanting to fight these things. Like, I'm kind of hoping that there's Eevee here. They just did have a sign about Pokemon evolving. And I don't know, to me that just seems too convenient. 
that they would, uh, they would mention that. But, it looks like I'm just gonna find Orochorios and... It's kinda looking like I'm just gonna find Orochorios and, um... These things here. Which is kind of a... Uh, Orochorios and... Not these things. This is an Orochorio. Uh, Lily Pups. And I'm not about that. I'm not about that. And I'm like having to fight these things, which I don't want to do. I think I may switch somebody else to the front for a while. Let's switch, um... Yo, my team is honestly kind of slow, though. My team is honestly kind of slow, though. I'm gonna switch... I'm gonna switch Lunatic to the front. Just because... He's probably a little bit faster. And let's see, come on. There's gotta be something here besides those things. kind of crazy like I'm kind of not believing this that this is all I can find yeah Rockruff putting in the most right now use that bite helping hand yeah keep using helping hands keep using helping hand lunatic goes to level 21 Dreadlocks goes to level 20, so everybody's getting levels now. Everybody's getting levels. Alright, well, let's go ahead and go a little bit further this way and see what's happening. This is, uh. So, we are back to the city now. Hold up, is this a new part of the city? Okay. So this is an area we couldn't get to before. What is here? Diglett's Tunnel. I'm triggering events. I don't think I'm supposed to go here right now. Mm-cha! Oh, magic, wasn't it? This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowing with all these Pokemon called Diglett, and they are getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So let your island. So how's your island challenge going, friend? Let me see your which crystals you've earned. Okay, you're doing all right. How's that Water MZ working out for you? Judging by how well you and your team get along, I bet you you guys can do some real damage with it. Okay, Magic. Um. Uh, what? I, I actually looked up how to say his name. I think it's Kavi. Uh, Kiavi. Kiavi? Kiavi's trial is next. Off to Wella Volcano Park you go. So I guess that means we can't go this way. Because it put us back to the entrance. So that makes sense. What's this? You have a road home decks? Then you must be having a grand time in the festival, right? Festival Plaza. If you haven't given it a try yet, open up your the X menu. Open up your X menu with the X button and give the button to that says Festival Plaza a little tap. If only I could read. As a tunnel enthusiast, I absolutely have to pin down the difference between Diglett's Cave and Kanto and Diglett's Tunnel in Alola. That's what I was just thinking about was uh, Diglett's Cave. Like, this is, must be like a throwback, like referencing the fact that you have the Diglett Cave in Kanto and it's like been 20 years since the original games. That's pretty cool. Alright. So, let's see what this is. If I can get this spick and span, I win. Cleaning is like a game, you know? Hmm. What is this place? Are you like a janitor? What's, what's happening here? Whoa! Your chances of encountering a shiny Pokemon are about 4,000 to 1. See, I told you. I told you. That uh, I had heard that the, uh, the encounter rate had changed. 
Are you out and about on your island challenge? When you've completed it, come on back. Don't forget about me here, okay? So we definitely need to go back and talk to him. Oh, you're a player. We've been making games here. What color would you choose? Red, green, blue, or yellow? Yo, I gotta go with red. Red, huh? Interesting. I'd say you pro you're probably the type who stays true to your heart and says what you want. Well, I did just say what I wanted, so... I want to keep working on the game, so I've got to keep my energy up. I need some vitamins. Here, I'll give you one, too. Thanks for stopping by. So we got some lemonade. Got that lemonade. Uh, Clefairy is the cutest, isn't it? Oh, I just want to hug it. I'm the game director. It's pretty fun to fill up your Pokedex, you know. When you've made some progress, don't forget to come and show it to me. Ciao! I am... I just finished an awesome song. Is that... Is that Hoff? Is that a boy Hoff over here? Being able to finally work on the games that I spent so long playing, it's a dream come true. Oh, the Matt said Game Freak! The sign has Game Freak! That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. That's really rad. I dig it. I dig it. What is this? Is this the Aether Foundation? Hello? More fresh water still. Your HP has to be fully recovered by now. What do you think makes Pokemon happy? What is happiness anyway? For me, it's enough to have friends that I can go eat with and have fun together with. Here at the Aether Foundation, we work to help protect Pokemon that have been hurt. Here at the Aether Foundation, we hurt... Okay, you're going to say the same thing. I wonder if we should also fight to stop the evil actions of Team Skull. Those Team Skull buffoons, they hurt Pokemon as if it's fun or something. So this is the Aether Foundation. Which is in the same building as Game Freak. Which is kind of kind of odd. But, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. Um, have I talked to you? Akala Island has three captains. They specialize in different types of Pokemon, water, fire, and grass. That makes sense. That makes sense. I got you. So... The three, so we did normal and fighting on the other island, and then here we got water fighting grass. You're going to the dimensional research lab, aren't you? Anyone could tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. You're going to the, aren't you? You're out of luck. If you want the professor, you just missed her. Try again another time. So we can't go in there yet. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Is the egg hatching? Be an Eevee. Be an Eevee. <gasps> it is! I'm so happy right now! I genuinely didn't know it was an Eevee. I am so happy right now. Oh, why don't you see what kind of Pokemon was born from that egg, kiddo? It's E. I know all about Eevee. Yes, let's give it a nickname. And it's a female. Well, guys, you already know. You already know what it's gonna be. And I know. Th I know that Espeon is not a. Espeon is not a 7th gen Pokemon, but I have to use it. I have to use it. Like, I absolutely have to use it. It's got Runaway, so it's not its uh, hidden ability, unfortunately, but it's a quiet nature, which ah, it lowers its speed, but it boosts its special attack. So that's not the worst thing in the world. It could be better. Uh, it, it is a bummer that it drops its speed, but it gets boosted special attack, and Amethyst, uh, or Espeon's special attack is through the roof. So I'm not even mad about that. So we didn't. 
So apparently there's not gonna be EVs over there on the route, or maybe there is, I don't know. We just kept running into the same stuff over and over, but it doesn't matter because we got... So I'm just gonna, right now, yo, right now, we are about to go ahead and... Right away, I'm I'm throwing this Soothe Bell on it. I don't even care. I'm throwing this Soothe Bell on it. Where's it at? I know we got a Soothe Bell. There it is. So we're going to go um, and throw that on there because we're going to try and get an Espeon. This is going to be kind of challenging seeing as we are playing in the daytime. Or... In, playing in moon version and it's mostly nighttime in the game but uh, if we can level it up at uh, at te what's in real time night we can get it during the day in the game maybe that made sense to someone besides me anyway guys we're gonna wrap this episode up right about here actually are you the last trainer on this route let's go ahead and fight you let's, let's go ahead and fight you you're the last trainer on this route we'll go ahead and fight you Alola Alola welcome trainer Let's go ahead and knock out this route. We'll go a little bit longer. We'll go a little bit longer. It'll be alright. And knock out this trainer. It shouldn't take too long. Especially if you're rocking an Oracorio. Because we can body you really quickly. Oh, I'm so happy we got an Eevee from that egg. That makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. Like, for real guys, I had no idea that... Um, that there was going to be an Eevee in that egg. I was having... I kind of had hope that... Maybe that there was going to be Eevee or some kind of Pokemon over here that evolved via happiness. Since they had a trainer sign there. But maybe it's not relevant. But either way, we got an Eevee and that is... Um, that's exciting to me. And... Yo, look at these levels. It's getting like right out the gate. Forget an old move. Let's go ahead and drop... Um, growl. No, helping hand. No, growl. Helping hand might be useful for right now. In double battle situations. Or at least it could be. So, and this is going to be in the back, getting levels. Which is a, actually a bit unfortunate, because it's probably going to, um... It's probably actually going to miss out on getting, uh... Confusion. probably gonna miss out on getting confusion uh, which is a bummer uh, but either way either way I'm rocking out with it we'll get it eventually um, and with that said we're gonna wrap this episode up right here uh, like I said I hope you did enjoy this episode um, if you did be sure to hit that like button down below for us give it your magic touch as always but for now I'm gonna make like an Abra and get out of here so have yourselves a good day stay cool and we will catch you next time.